Time now for gold here. And uh, we turn our attention to a country that's hosting the next Olympic Games. It's an all French gold medal match for the recurve under 18 women here at the European Championships. So an all French affair, Amélie Cudo against Mila Delastan. Have you seen these two archers shooting over the week? Yes, I have. Um, yeah, again, France have a, a very impressive uh, academy system. They have regional academies, uh, really good coaching, and, and they, they have a, a large group of uh, cadets and, and well, under under 18s, under 21s that are coming through. These two girls actually were in the. Um, I think they're in the final in, in Romania at the European Youth Cup Bucharest a couple of weeks ago. I think um, Cordo won that one, but yeah, both obviously even at this level, this age, they're, they're both pretty experienced now. Well, this all French gold medal match is about to get underway, and it will be Cordo to shoot the first arrow. Hey. And guess what? Again, a little low left. left. <laughs> It just shows the mindset how how passive or aggressive they are. You know, as coach and archer, we all, we all talk about it before. Like, where where is it likely to go with that first arrow? And we get it wrong every time. Don't we? I think we we'll outguess ourselves. Very controlled draw, isn't it? Yes, yeah, very smooth. Uh, a, a lovely flow to follow through. W one of the things I teach with my archers is, is the follow through it, it, it needs to be um, no. it has to be a full flow we need to be do that follow through right to the end it, it's not just it's not just making the arrow click and then just let go it, it, like every sport has its follow through um, no. and that was a weak arrow yeah she had a chance oh, to level up, but she needed a 10 at the Delta, and she only got a 5. So the first two set points go to Cordo. She leads this one. But that form, that, that style, is it, is it, can you take a, a country where you're coaching here in Great Britain? Is there a priestman style of shooting yes, that you sure. can recognise? Yes, of course there is. You, can, you, can, you need to recognise the coach by the, 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 uh, the style that uh, comes out in the arches. With mine, there's, there's a definite uh, string hand shape. Uh, and a definite follow through and, and a definite uh, uh, bow arm delivery into the tent. Um, and it's just trying to, m my kind of influence is just trying to maximize what they get from the setup and the expansion. I don't want to, you know, some odds you see, you'll see a great draw, a great, great full draw, they make it click and it looks powerful and then they have a variable follow through. So then the score doesn't go, the arrow doesn't go quite where it should do. And, and often in competition at high level, what breaks down is the follow through. The archers don't complete their full process and then little errors occur. So I, I try to exaggerate that part just to maximize because you know, under pressure, you can't think quite as clearly. You don't always set it up as good. You don't always make the right decision to aim. But if you finish it good, you can maximize what you've got, get a better score. There you go. Pearls of wisdom from Richard Priestman. We go into this gold medal match, second set with Cordo leading by two set points to nil. So it will be Delatan to shoot first. Hey. She's not got centered yet, has she? Sometimes it takes one or two sets just to get centered. Then the confidence comes and then you can nice. start to shoot a lot better or so score better. But she hasn't got a huge amount of time here because it looks like uh, Cordo is in that centre. Yes, and you've only got, if you don't get it right by the third set, then uh, you're struggling. Still drifting off to the left and only on 14 here. Cordo will seek yeah. the opportunity or see it and she has taken it. That's a nerve calming 10 for Cordo. Eight. 
and one of the problems here is us obviously got this variable wind at the, you know we've got probably the most one of those beautiful venues you've ever seen but again the, there's this strong wind that's coming from the the west and it's coming through the trees or up and over the trees and it's causing all kinds of turbulence which and you're feeling the wind all around you even though the wind's coming head on from the right you feel it come from behind you and it it's so confusing to your brain that and it it puts that indecision there but like i always say it's the same <laughs> for all the okay the occasional gust can affect one particular arrow but the conditions are the same for all these archers kodo stepped into this uh, gold medal match and she's handling this the circumstances much better than her opponent yes yeah you can see that i mean it, yeah i mean she did win the gold medal in, uh, in bucharest so maybe she's got a a lot of confidence against your opponents maybe they're i don't know if they're training partners or not probably are but i'm sure they probably shoot against each other every day yeah yeah that's the thing if you know that you beat your opponent as we saw back in those replays at, at four nil up that uh, cordo could do this in three sets is that the dream is that what every archer yes, is thinking about yeah of course it is you you want to get it over and done with you, 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 you even if you're the clearly the better archer if, if you don't close the match out then you're putting pressure on yourself I, not everybody agrees with me, I was to wear this third set syndrome. It's the kind of set that you, I would really like to win. You know, if you're four nil up, well, you want to win the third. If you're four nil down, you want to win the third. Or if you're level, well, why not? To me, if, of course, every set's important, but it, the third one is if you don't win the third, you're either won the match or you let the, the opponent back in. So, it, Well, here it is, the all important third set. Delatan training four nil. It has to win this one to keep herself in the gold medal match and that is the middle of the target yeah beautiful shot wasn't it Nine. they both look very cool out there i see seeing is looking a lot more tense than this you know in, in competitions Eight. i like the way they you know they this, they look like they keep their eyes focused on the center, the heads are not moving. They're very deliberate in the follow through. Wind strong on that one. Oh so dear. she's six seconds, oh now she's in trouble. Four, three, two, one. Wow, she wow. <laughs> managed to get a five out yeah, of it. Yeah, that's better than nothing, isn't it? Um, what, yeah. was it what was the redraw for? She did I, I could see right. the wind was really strong and it was pushing her. Um, um, yeah. Well, a 25 has been set by Delastan no. and she has put this one out of reach. So she has got herself back into this match, uh, getting on the scoreboard with that uh, two points. But here she's going through this cordo. So she can shadow me there. She was losing. Looks like she was losing off her, her back. She, the, 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 the string said elbows collapsing. So then you can't put, you can't get through the clicker if your body's collapsing, and I think the wind is pushing her. She, when when you're more relaxed, she'd have felt that and probably aborted the shot and come down, and then had time to reset and then go again. But she, she left herself no time, did she? Well, we're going to see it right here, Richard. Talk us through what happened. Uh, everything looks okay so at this point. See the wind, the flags are moving heavily. Ah, and yeah. She's gone, she's gone over time and then she just lost the power, lost the movement. Um, and she just took too long to take the decision to come down. So at that point you've either got to punch it through really fast and shoot or you make a quick decision, come down and start again. But there's no time, it's really hard to think clearly. Yeah, it certainly is. And uh, well, uh, it did give Delastan an opportunity to get back into the match. She took it. I, I, I'd, I'd really love to hear your thoughts on this as well. We get set up for set number four. I, I boil archery down to two things. You get an opportunity and it's whether you have the bottle, what I'm going to call yes, it, to yes. take it. Yeah, I'm from Louisville. Yeah, you've got to have bottle, haven't you? Um, no, you, th this is about taking the risk of winning. Um, it, it's Archery is an attacking sport. We're trying to hit the middle. We're trying to kill the centre of the target. So you, it's all about movement and strong finish and attack, and take that risk. If there's no, if you go into a defensive mode in archery, especially when it's windy, the wind will kick you and, and you will make mistakes. 
<laughs> that <laughs> seems to un- unsettled it now, doesn't it? That's she was she was shooting so nice, and then one one unfortunate mistake, and then uh, and that you know she perhaps not reset. Well, and then, of course, when you've made a mistake, you dream of a, a present from the other archer, <laughs> which, which <laughs> she gave her there, didn't she? <laughs> she certainly did. Sometimes you, there's a bit of luck as well, sometimes. Yeah, but you do make your own luck in sport. I want to get back into yeah, this. Yeah. But uh, So now from what seemed like a disaster, now... Oh, she's pinged that in for the nine, and it is, as you say, the win for Amelie Cordeaux. She had a wobble in the third set, but she pulled it all back together. Shot a six in the fourth to get things going, but when Darstan put down a four, Cordeaux knew that she could take this gold medal, and she's the new European champion.